There's no house. reason to come inside of our house. Are you kidding me? Why are you in our house? You see the mark of these cars in front of your house. For what? For you. Not for me. The police have just broken into the home of this innocent couple while they were sound asleep. The officers have weapons drawn. There's just one problem. Those officers have made a mistake. They just don't know it yet. You said my, you said my door was open? Yes, sir. There's cameras all over here, buddy. Good. All right, then. Come out. You want to talk to the police right here? Step out for what? I'm in my boxers. I'm waking up. What time is it? Right here, there we go. Hey, <laughs> I don't know. Put the baby down and come out. For what? What's put going the baby on? Down and come out now. You heard that right. The man in the video is holding his baby as police train their weapons and flashlights on him. They're demanding he leave the home for questioning, even though they haven't told him what this is about or even made a positive ID that this is the man they're looking for. With all this confusion, the situation could quickly escalate out of control. You still haven't told us why yeah, you're here. So come out here now, or we have to go in there. And we don't want to have to go in there with you and a baby in there. So it's best for him to just come out. Do you now. have a warrant? Yes, we do. So come out I'd now. like to see it, please. Come here. I we'll would like to you. see it now. That's not how this works. Even waking up from a sound sleep, the woman in this video knows the right question to ask. Do you have a warrant? Police assure her they do and they'll show it to her if she'll just leave her house. But as she correctly asserts, she has a right to see the search warrant before agreeing to anything the officers say. Their response? It doesn't work that way. Except it definitely does. If he doesn't come out here in a couple of minutes, in about a minute, we're gonna end up going in there. So, so record all this. I am. Come on. Cause this ain't gonna look good for you. One of the most common scare tactics used by police who know they're in the wrong is to try and intimidate victims by claiming it won't look good for them to assert their constitutional rights. That's total nonsense, but it often works. After all, most people aren't going to argue with the guys who have riot shields and guns. But this couple knows their rights, and they aren't letting up. Almost half a minute of tense silence follows this officer's threat during which those police officers are really hoping these two crack under the pressure. But that isn't happening, and slowly, officers edge forward to confront them directly. Bro, just come yes. outside, bro. I'm coming, bro, He's relax, man. Shoes on. Damn. Damn. This is ridiculous. What's ridiculous? That you just came to the door with a baby in your hand earlier, and you're taking forever to come out. And then we got eight guys out here. It's clear that the responding officers are starting to question whether this is actually the guy they're looking for. At one point, one of the eight officers who just raided this couple's home criticizes them for carrying their baby. But as you can already hear, those officers are starting to lose some of their macho confidence. Let's go. All right, let's go. Put your hands out of your pockets. Wait, this isn't a joke. Turn around, put your hands on your head, walk backwards. Turn around, put your hands on your head, and walk backwards. Come out. Yes, this is for real, bro. Come out. I'm getting my son. I'm getting my son. Come out. Keep in mind that officers still haven't shown any search warrant and have provided absolutely no justification for why they broke into this couple's home. They're still hoping if they shout loud enough, it will overpower these two psychologically. But so far, these two have been completely compliant with instructions, and that's just not enough for the police. Anybody else here, ma'am? No. You guys can... Okay. Anybody else here? No. You it's just y'all? Thank you, Shannon. Show me your warrant, please. He got it outside. Can Where's I that? see the warrant? Bro, you guys just can... Listen oh, to me. my God. Hey. Yeah. My oh, attorney yeah. is going to okay. eat yeah, this. Yeah, we're, we're going we're to get in a lot of trouble. Okay. My lawyer Listen. is going to I'm eat sure. this. When officers finally do show the couple the warrant, guess what? It turns out those eight officers raided the wrong home. And as the officer standing on the grass says in a moment of rare self-awareness, we're going to get in a lot of trouble for this. Oh, buddy, you better believe that's the truth. Where is he at? I have no idea. You see them cameras right there? That's good. You I'm guys glad. are. I'm happy for, for the camera. Let this man come to my house for a person I don't Listen. even know. I don't know him. And while the officers may say they're, quote, 
happy for the cameras that just caught them breaking into the wrong house and terrorizing a couple and their baby, that confidence isn't going to hold up in court. Just a few minutes ago, those officers were talking about how bad it was going to be for the couple. Now it's looking pretty bad for them. This kind of failure is all too common in our undertrained, over-militarized police departments. This couple is incredibly lucky no one ended up hurt or killed by these overzealous officers and their inability to read their own warrant. As one TikTok commenter notes, one officer has already admitted guilt on camera. There was zero attempt at de-escalating this situation on the part of the police. In fact, it was the innocent couple who made every single effort to lower the tension by trying to assert their constitutional rights. Others aren't so lucky. In Lebanon, Tennessee, a 61-year-old man was gunned down by police during a raid where officers admitted they had the wrong house. In that case, police said they meant to raid the house next door. But stories like this are a stark reminder that when the cops barge into your home, they're more likely to shoot first and ask questions never. This couple's quick thinking and calm demeanor likely saved their lives. But what about the next couple? If you made it to the end, thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like, consider subscribing, and check out my Substack at maxburns.substack.com for even more coverage. And leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.